Turned out as something that really could be a game changing discovery in the fight against COVID-19, a baby born with antibodies. Yeah, her mother, a local physician, got the vaccine just days before wow. giving birth, and it appears not only it protects her, but her newborn baby as well. Local 12's Cassie Arsenal joins us live with a story you'll see only on Local 12. Cassie. <laughs> After the stress of this past year, this newborn antibody result is giving this first time mom a huge sigh of relief. <laughs> Carrying a baby during the height of the pandemic brings its own type of extreme stress. But for ER doctor Jessica Evans, the stress was off the charts. Oh, I was very nervous. I was very nervous every day I went into work. I was scared that that was the day I was going to get COVID. Jessica had a tough decision to make for her and her baby. After talking with an infectious disease doctor, her OB, and a maternal fetal doctor, she knew what was right for her. After Jessica's second shot, she gave birth to baby Adeline 10 days later. So we knew that I was creating antibodies because I was getting the vaccine, and the question was, would these antibodies cross the placenta and my daughter have them or not? The test results came back and Adeline was positive for the antibodies, a massive relief for this first time mom. For me, it means that she's protected during these most vulnerable months of her life. Hopeful news that COVID-19 vaccinations are acting like well-documented influenza vaccines, passing antibodies through the placenta, but there's still a lot we don't know. The thing we don't know, honestly, is what level of antibody a baby needs to be protected and how long that protection will last. Only time and more data will give us that answer. For now, Jessica can love on little Adeline knowing her baby girl not only got her eyes and nose, but got those antibodies from her mama. I'm really excited. Um, you know, I think that we're headed in the right direction. Now, the CDC says that 30,000 pregnant women have been vaccinated. So far, no red flags have been raised for their newborns. Live in Walnut Hills, I'm Cassie Arsenault, Local 12 News. Wow, that is so great to hear. I don't think I would have been that brave, but I'm so happy for them. Well, baby Adeline is one of the first known children in the U.S. born with COVID antibodies. As we reported earlier this week, researchers followed 20 pregnant women who received the vaccine in the third trimester. All of them pass those antibodies on to their newborns.